Hey guys, welcome back. This video is going to be a continuation about water and its behaviors. Let's start off with a few terminologies that you should know. First is cohesion. Cohesion is what happens when two of the same molecules join together. And in this case, we're talking about water molecules. When two water molecules connect, this is referred to as cohesion. And this has everything to do with hydrogen bonds between water molecules. The next word you need to know or understand is adhesion. Now this is not exactly the opposite of cohesion regarding the join part, but rather what joins what. Adhesion is mostly termed for when different molecules are bonded together. Specifically in this case, water making contact with other surfaces. Keep in mind that this is contrary to cohesion, where two molecules of the same type are joined together. Both of them are being related in some way with water. So adhesion in the context of water is how water, for example, clings to the surface of your skin after you've washed your hands, or it can be found hanging over those leaves on a tree after the rain. One popular science-related example of adhesion tends to be the concave shape of the surface of water when you look at it through a test tube. Inside, you'll notice a U-shaped curve on the surface of the water. And this is explained by how adhesion causes water molecules to cling towards the glass itself. This is explained by how strongly adhesion takes part in water, getting really clingy to the glass as possible, and how as you move towards the middle of the surface of water, there's really no glass to cling onto, and thus you see the middle of the surface slouch downward. We call this occurrence the meniscus. The meniscus is important because that's basically why water forms that U-shape inside a test tube. And then there's something called surface tension. Surface tension doesn't pertain to adhesion, but it is heavily related to cohesion, water on water. Have you ever tried to fill up a cup with water as much as possible, but not spill it over? When water reaches the very edge of the cup, you can still add a little bit of water and it develops this dome-like shape, sort of like a muffin top. No, that muffin top. Surface tension is what keeps that dome shape that protrudes right over the cup itself. Surface tension pertains to the water on water molecules, but what it specifically refers to is the special attraction on the very top of the surface of water, hanging onto the edges of the cup. Some insects are literally able to walk on water due to this surface tension. How about bubbles? That's held together also by surface tension. The list goes on and on. It's the attractive force between the surface molecules of a liquid, and water has a relatively high surface tension, and thus it resists any forces that try to increase its surface area. What do I mean by this? Well, an increase in surface area would mean that the water would have to spill out of the cup all over the floor, or that bubble would have to pop, blowing up and spreading apart and splashing out, or that bug falling through that top layer of water, again increasing surface area. I tried to depict an image here of a person jumping from a high board into a swimming pool. The surface area of water is at its minimum right before the person enters the water, as shown in the amount of red that's covered. But once the person makes contact, you can see the water spread out disperse, and even explode as more surface area is created. Basically, if you increase the surface area of water, you're practically spreading it outwards. But again, water naturally resists the spreading. It tries to cling on to itself through, you guessed it, those weak hydrogen bonds. And it's the one and only way it knows to deal with other water molecules. These hydrogen bonds are what contribute to the water's surface tension. One more tip I'd like to add is to say it in your head, surface tension. It's the tension found on the surface and it should help clear things up when you're getting into a jam during exams. I hope that clears a few things up about water. Keep in mind, we talked about the differences between cohesion and adhesion. We followed that by surface tension and how that affects surface area. I think I'm gonna end it here for now but it's not over, not for a long shot. Do you have any idea how important water is? 
we need to fully understand water and its properties to understand life itself. Thanks for watching. Remember, I upload a new video every Sunday. Thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, and please subscribe to the channel to watch the next video. Don't forget to share. Thanks again for watching. Peace.